Next is number 10, and that is Chico Kegi, Japan. Chico, please. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. My name is Charlie Lehman. I'm eight years old. My grandma Chico told me she is an alien who is from a planet called Japan. Madam Toastmaster and fellow Toastmasters, let me welcome my grandma, Chico Kegi. Grandma! Thank you, Charlie. That was a nice introduction. A job well done. When Connie asked me if I wanted to speak on this Cultural Awareness Day, I thought about very serious subjects, such as racial discrimination and racial injustice. But I have decided to speak on lighter subject, which is how to eat a hamburger. When I was talking to Charlie about some Japanese people eat with their eyes, Charlie was paying close attention with, the, with his eyes wide open. Tell me more, Grandma. So Charlie was thinking and listening and with a little twinkle in his eyes and said, ah, ha, 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 Grandma. Nobody can eat with their eyes because eyes do not have teeth. And if you have to put this ketchup in your eyes, oh, that would hurt. Grandma, this is how I eat my hamburger. You will take a big bite and chew on it and taste it and swallow it. And after that, I will take a cup of Coke to Wash it all down. Well, Charlie, that is one way to eat a hamburger. Can I tell you how to eat with eyes? Sure, Grandma. There are two ways. First way to eat with your eyes is that you may want to go to a Japanese restaurant or you could set up your room nicely to make this nice Japanese atmosphere. The room looks like this with tatami mat floor and you can probably see a little green in the back, the Japanese garden, or you could even imagine the Japanese garden where some koi fish is swimming around and you can hear this soothing waterfall running. You may want to stroll around the garden and then your mind will start settling down and getting calm and you are now ready to enjoy this atmosphere and the Japanese meal. When you go to a restaurant, Japanese restaurant, they usually bring a large dish and with a little bit food on top of it. And you start thinking, mm, this is not much. Well, but this is a, just a starter. Let's see what the next dish will bring. And the waiter will bring next dish, which is about the same size as, as large as the first one, but food is just a little bit. And you may think, oh, I have to eat a lot of dishes to get full. Now, the second way of eating with your eyes is less expensive. You just need a bowl of rice and a pickle. It's usually plum pickle because plum pickle is so salty. The longer you see, the more saliva you will create. And with that saliva, you could eat one third of rice. And then you will actually eat another one third of rice with this pickle. Now, pickle is all gone, but you still have one third of rice remaining. Since there's no pickle, you have to remember how salty the pickle was. With that memory, you can finish the rest of rice. So by eating with ice, I mean, 
you would enjoy the atmosphere and the atmosphere now becomes a part of your meal. Okay, grandma, let me try eating hamburger with my eyes. First, I will look at the hamburger. Oh, maybe 10 seconds because I can't wait very long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then, um, mm, 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 mm. Mm, grandma, it tastes so good. Then, since I don't have any pickle to make soup with that, so I would just take a glass of uh, Coke and drink it all down, wash it all down. Grandma, it tasted so good. I'd like to try. Can I try eating with my eyes a slice of pepperoni pizza? Are you done? Is that it? Okay, okay. we we'll make sure. <laughs> we, we were ready to eat some pizza now. <laughs> what a fun story. I have never heard that term, eating with your eyes. And I love your beautiful background. Thank you, Chaco.